Hey guys, it's March 26th. Jacob and I are in Northeast Iowa today. Uh, we're up at my grandma's and I got permission on about 4,200 acres. Obviously not going to be able to walk all that today, but nice and cold and windy today. It's actually snowing right now, so that's perfect. But we're going to get out here. Uh, we're going to go to some of the main areas. We usually find sheds, even though this winter has been a little different. We're still going to check some of these core areas that we do are in the winter so get back with you when we get at it. Well it's nice that it's cloudy out today. Uh, makes it easier for spot nailers. They kind of pop out the brightness color of them really makes them pop, so hopefully it helps. Really? Let's see it. Oh yeah, I couldn't see it from over there. Yeah, I'd never, I would lucky I took that Snapchat for I wouldn't have seen it. <laughs> hey guys. Well, we're on the board at least. I just found my first shed across this creek. Uh, I'll walk over there and get it. Not surprised I found one before Jacob. <laughs> We've actually shed on this property in the past. Boy, I don't know how I'm not going to get wet. Uh, and we found some sheds in this creek a couple times. I think, what, two years, Jacob? Yeah. In a row? Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, no, that's fresh. Yep. Well snap some pictures of it well just walked up and found a dead buck antlers are eight just seen a dead shed buck which he's got some pretty nice pedicles on him but keep on walking it was up on top of this hill or over this and uh, haven't found anything for a while but it's pretty thick down in here. I'm following this trail, but a nice fence row up there. Jacob's up over there. Oh, see that? I think that's an antler. Jacob found one. Really? Yeah. Looks pretty, pretty decent. It's fresh. Is that considered a hanger? <laughs> Doubtful. There's a fresh. Yeah, that dead shed box back there. Um, that's really fresh. Like really, really fresh. Well, you want to walk up in here? Is that the cornfield? Oh, that's the hay field. Yeah, I'm just walking. Okay, yeah. I'm just walking this edge. I guess this probably was Jacob's shed I stole from him, but <laughs> my bad. I thought the I thought that was more trees over there, but all right, I'll go back down. And Jacob informed me he just found one up here, so his GoPro's dead. So I'm gonna come up here and see what see what he's got. Jeepers, where'd you see it from? Oh yeah, oh yeah, she is chewed on. Hey, you found left side, right? Yeah, Yeah. all left side. All lefts. There's a point. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're at three so far, and this is the first 
uh, farm we walked. It's only about a, I think it's an 80. So, good start to the day. What time is it, Jacob? Um, 920. 920. Good start. Okay, Jacob, I'm going back down. I'm glad you finally found one. Been waiting on you. Hammer. So usually when I'm shed hunting, I like to search the first 50 yards in the timber and then the first 50 yards out into the field. So then when deer are transitioning from the timber into the field, that's where I find a lot of my sheds is within uh, 50 yards and 50 yards. So uh, keep looking, but. So me and Jacob walking back to the ranger found a dead deer out in the field we we're walking and I found a pretty decent shed just walking feel bad for Jacob but I bet that's the match to yours didn't you say uh, lay yours down beside it oh yeah. Yeah. yeah well it doesn't mean it wasn't chewed off I don't know probably not I think it's a different deer don't you Huh. Well, we got four. First property. Welcome back to the Ranger. We're just gonna cruise the edge of these fields on the way back and over on the neighbors. But not a whole lot of deer sign on this side. Once we get around this deep ravine, we're gonna head over to a nice big south facing hillside. So hopefully have some better luck over there. But Keeping on. Jacob's crossing the fence. But I just spotted one up here. Jacob was a little faster. He would have found it. Looks like a pretty good one though. I'll say that. Jacob, if you were faster. I know. I thought maybe you were gonna. Why? Well, that's true. I thought you were gonna walk out there. Well, I seen it as soon as I came up that draw. This is also should have been Jacob's shed. <laughs> Number two that I stole from him. Huh. I'm just gonna say this. There's no way a deer is crossing down through that ravine. I should tell Jacob to go walk down there. Some trails. I know they got cattle, but deer are gonna use these trails as well. Ow. Yeah. It's pretty steep in there. Unless you're a mountain goat, I'm not crossing it. I found one under these trees one year. Somewhere along this edge. Well, Jacob just started yelling at me. And he's looking around over the fence. I'm gonna assume he found one. So I just walked up in this little corner, uh, just because there was some trees up along here and I just wanted to see, but uh, just happened to glance across the fence line. Let's see if you can see it on the camera, I don't know. It's right there, underneath that branch over there. So, same owner, I'm just going to cross the fence here and pick it up, but like. I think we got six now, so. Looks like a decent one. There's another one up here. Nuh uh. Yeah. Is it the match? Uh, no, just lay it upside down like this. Oh my gosh. Heck yeah. It might be, wait, what's that setup? Right. Oh, Where do you see another one? Ooh. Oh boy. Nice. Jay Moe. Oh, 
Look at that. Not very far away from each other. How did you see this one? I just walked up there. I'm like, oh, I gotta check this edge now. I think we're at seven for the Yeah. Day. It's, I think it's 1040. Yeah, we got a lot of walking. A lot more ground to go. God, I'm just having really good luck on these points. There's one right up here. I just spotted walking around. Look there, that might be a match to Blaine's. Actually, I didn't tell him or yell anything. He might figure it out here in a second, but these points have been doing pretty dang good for me. Just ravines, just walking up them and checking them out on this grass. So I was sitting back there waiting for JMO because he was gonna go walk the point and took him forever. Walking slow like normal, but comes up, holds up another antler. So puts us at nine. I don't know where he went. He's way up there. But we're gonna keep walking. No matches yet, so hopefully we stumble upon a match set somewhere. We're still walking this fence edge. Um, but yeah, Blaine just spotted one up towards me a little bit, but he's got a couple right sides. I got a couple left sides. <laughs> Need some matches. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Found a shed though. Pretty white from the sun, bleached fairly well. So the part we're walking right now, uh, me and Blaine really have never walked before. We found five where we haven't normally found any, and we're just gonna keep walking some of the spots we haven't really ever walked before, just because that's where we're finding them right now. So we're just walking side edges and. Random little points, and we'll see what happens when we get back to the ranger. Got a long walk ahead of us, though, but it's worth it. You can see her from like a hundred yards. No, it's not. Dang it! It's a nice one, though. I think. Ah! Last year. For sure. Hey, left side, or right side, I mean. I have all right side. So we're just walking along, and Blaine yells at me, he thinks he has just the biggest antler that we found so far, and we walk up to it. I ain't no different than the ones we found so far. It just looked huge, because it was pretty white, and you can see the tines from a long ways away. But we're at 10, and we got a lot of spots to walk still. Probably some bad camera holding footage right now. I'm trying to walk and look around at the same time. But, we'll see what else we can find. We're just walking a big old pasture right now. The gator we took to get closer to here. Up there on that ridge and we have to go down this valley back up blend started so we, go. we just ate some lunch I took all the good food from the gas station Jacob was crying but we stopped at the property we got permission for and we're gonna walk part of this quick we know somebody else walked it so, uh, <laughs> and then we're gonna head back up to get in the ranger and go elsewhere. <laughs> well, man. Go back to the truck. <laughs> well, there's a shed up here. It looks pretty decent. Blaine told me to. Blaine told me to come up and walk, so I did. And looks like.
like a decent shed. What's to the left of it? You say old one? Yeah. Oh, it's last year's. Yeah. Hey, guess what? It's the left side too. <laughs> Just the left side's like crazy. Have it right off the Oh, they did. That's number 11. So the last place, Jacob found an old shed and we're at a new or a different place. Uh, this landowner we've been shot hunting on. It's on his ground already today. But this is a pasture we're in right now. We found most of our sheds and pastures. We're running out of time, so we're shed hunting. It was quick, convenient, and we've had good luck, so keep on going. Actually found this one, Jacob didn't. So I just, we just uh, were driving around and we were gonna stop like right here. And I happened to look forward and Blaine was too busy talking, but. First right side of the day, we'll take it. Uh, we're just walking this point that usually produces a shed every every year we've walked it. Uh, Blaine found one right after he shot a turkey three springs ago. Then we found one while we shed hunted it last, or two springs ago. And then just found this one. Um, one right at the beginning of it last or just about five minutes ago so doing pretty good i think we're at 12 on the day um, well once again i'm telling jacob a story he's up there i look up to talk to him and i found one i'm good at telling stories blaine just found number 13 for the day so this point has produced once again. Still got a lot of this point left. Boy, that's my biggest one today, I think. Yeah, it is. That's not a match, is it? Ooh, probably not. That one's not that old, though. Think you hit it coming under this? Probably. So the shed that I just found. I think this is the first one we've actually found in the timber today. Uh, I think the rest of them are on UTV trails and out in pastures. Or in some grassy areas that have a few trees. But this is like the actual mature hardwood timber here. And first one in the timber. So we find quite a few every year in this section of the this property this is where we do some turkey hunting too so me and jacob both shot turkeys within a couple hundred yards of this area and usually find a shed or two turkey hunting so keep going stumbled upon that might be the match what what was the last side i found might be the match. No, nope, that's a little smaller. That's definitely smaller than the other one. No, you're... no yours was left. Yeah, mine was the left. Yeah. So, oh. number 14. It's about, what is it, four o'clock? 4.30, Jacob says. He's done his phone a whole bunch. I'm not surprised he knows. 4.40, keep on. This is where I about hit the shed that Jacob found.
Number what? 15. I was driving along the field edge and I was saying to Jacob, wow, it'd be really easy to see a shed. And then I was trying to point out what I thought were turkeys. <laughs> Turns out it was crows and uh, spotted that magnum. some field edges on uh, four different properties so pretty good day it's gonna get dark here in about 30 minutes so we did all day walk finished with 15 I believe 15 we're gonna pack it up and head home